Yum, yum, yum. What? But... Well, then, what will you eat? I'm not sure I can even make that. Well, I don't want you to starve. Oh, are you sure I can't tempt you with a nice crisp piece of... <sighs> I'll make your special recipe. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Hmm. Let's see. Asparagus. Excuse me, um, I think you just stepped in front of me. Excuse me, I think you made a mistake. You see, I was actually here first and- Sorry, didn't notice you there. I know. Oh, <laughs> oh pardon me, sir. Yes, you what? I think you just cut in front of me. A cut of celery? This is the asparagus stand. I said, I think you just cut in front of me. Oh, no need, dearie. I'm already in front. <laughs> I noticed. I was like, oh, well. Hey! Would you mind moving back? You're in my personal space. But seriously, do you need your asparagus so badly? Get a lie. Oh, okay. There's no rush. Fluttershy, you mustn't let them treat you that way. Oh, it's, it's really no big deal. It's bigger than big. It's double big. You are a pony with a problem. What problem? Oh, go right ahead, Pinkie Pie. You first. Right there! That's the problem! You've got to stop being such a doormat. A doormat? A pushover, darling. You've got to stand up for yourself. Promise us. Okay, I promise. Oh, good. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind. Watch and learn. Hold it right there, Mr. Small and Handsome. Uh, who? Me? Oh, of course you. No pony ever called you handsome before. Uh, that'd be a big no. Oh, well, they should. How about flexing some of your muscles for me? <gasps> oh, my heavens! Do you think a strong, handsome stallion such as yourself could give my friend the last asparagus? <laughs> nah. That's not so hard, is it? Um, I guess not. All right, then. What else is on your list? Let's see. I also need tomatoes. Here you go. <clears throat> That'll be two bits, not one. Oh, but last week it was only one bit. That was then, this is now. Okay. I don't want to argue about it. What do you think you're doing? Mind in my own business. Maybe you should try it. Two bits for tomatoes is outrageous. One bit is the right price. I say it's two bits. One bit. Two bits. One bit. Two bits. One bit. Two bits. Two bits. One bit. Two bits. One bit. I insist these two bits are nothing. One bit and that's my final offer. Have it your way. One bit it is. <laughs> See? Asserting yourself can be fun! I guess you're right. So, Fluttershy, do you feel like giving it a try? Um, okay. I need that cherry. 
Boy, am I glad you have one cherry left. You see, I'm making this special meal for my bunny angel. He's a very picky eater, and the recipe calls for a cherry on top. Here you go. So, you say you need this cherry very badly. Oh, yes. I'm desperate for it. Then it'll be ten bits. Ten? Oh, hey, Mr. Handsome. I know you want to do the right thing because you're handsome and, and strong and big. Handsome, strong guys are always nice to every pony, right? Ten bits for the cherry. Ten bits for one cherry is outrageous. I insist on paying you eleven bits. Eleven bits? Um, I mean, nine bits. Uh, now, wait a minute. Okay, twelve bits, but that's my final offer. I think you're confused. It's twelve bits. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. Don't give them your money. One cherry is not worth twelve bits. But I was only doing what you did. It was a valiant effort, but you should refuse to give him your business and just walk away. But I can't let Angel starve. He won't eat it unless I make it just right. I need that cherry no matter what it costs. In that case, 20 bits. 20? Oh, but I don't have that much. Then why are you wasting my time? I'll give you two bits for that cherry. So, that's a break, kid. Next time, don't be such a doormat. <laughs> Ta-da! Here you go, Angel. Sorry there's no cherry on top, but the rest of it is exactly what you wanted. Angel? <laughs> Look at me. I really am a doormat. The incredible iron will turns doormats into dynamos. Assertiveness seminar today, Hedge Center. As Celestia is my witness, I'm never gonna be a pushover again! Friends, Iron Will is so confident that you will be 100% satisfied with Iron Will's assertiveness techniques that if you are not 100% satisfied, you pay nothing. But I pity the fool who doubts Iron Will's methods. You don't doubt me, do you? No, 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 no sir. <laughs> that, my friends, is your first lesson. Don't be shy. Look him in the eye. <laughs> now, to demonstrate that Iron Will's techniques will work for any pony, I'm going to need a volunteer. <laughs> you in the back row. Who, me? Yes, you. Iron Will wants you on stage. Uh, well... No! <laughs> okay. Whoa! He's blocking your path! What are you gonna do about it? Um, politely walk around him? No. Gingerly tiptoe around him? No. Go back home and try again tomorrow? No! When some pony tries to block, show them that you rock! Sorry. Don't be sorry. Be assertive. Never apologize when you can criticize. 
Why don't you watch where you're going? Now, you try. Uh... Next time, get out of the way before I bump into you. Cause I totally won't be sorry when I do. You see, my friends, if my techniques can work for this shy little pony, then they can work for any pony! Okay, I feel good. I feel ready to attack the day, as Iron Will says. Excuse me, Mr. Greenhoofs, but I think you might be overwatering my petunias <laughs> again. Let the professional handle it. <laughs> Treat me like a pushover, and you'll get the once over. Well, perhaps that is enough water. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. Show pony business is tough. <laughs> Go ahead, try one of your jokes out on me. I laugh at everything. Okay, okay, okay. A donkey and a mule are stuck on a desert island. <clears throat> Excuse me, would you mind moving your cart so I can pass? Yeah, yeah, in a minute. I just want to finish up this story. And so the donkey says to the mule, Ahem, can you move? You're blocking my path. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. So the donkey says, when some pony tries to block, show them that you rock. Ah! Easy does it, lady. We're moving, okay? Good. Who's next, please? And what can I get for you today? What do you think you're doing? Didn't you see me? Uh, I, I guess maybe. Maybe? Maybes are for babies. Now go to the back of the line where you belong! Hey, look at you! <laughs> Your attitude is so feisty. It's fabulous. Looks like that monster's workshop really paid off. Iron Will's not a monster. He's a minotaur and a true inspiration. His techniques really work. Well, they've certainly made a difference in the way you carry yourself. You truly are a whole new Fluttershy. Yes, I am. And new Fluttershy feels pretty stoked about new Fluttershy. Well, old Pinkie Pie feels really proud of new Fluttershy. Proud as pink punch. Want some? Rarity agrees. You got this, new Fluttershy. This day is yours, and no pony's gonna take it away from you. Am I right? Right! What? He's delivered the wrong mail again! Ooh. And new Fluttershy does not want the wrong mail delivered to her cottage. Oh, did I mix him up again? Sorry about that. You apologize? I penalize. Oh. Excuse me, do you know how to get to the Ponyville Tower? Her, you're not... <gasps> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Fluttershy, what are you doing? That's no way to behave. Didn't you see what he did to new Fluttershy? And he thought new Fluttershy was a pushover. No, sweetie, he didn't. We saw the whole thing. 
We think that you've taken your assertiveness training a little too far. What? You just want new Fluttershy to be a doormat like old Fluttershy. But old Fluttershy is gone! New Fluttershy! Old Fluttershy! What happened to nice Fluttershy? We want that Fluttershy back. No! You want wimp Fluttershy! You want pushover Fluttershy! You want do anything to her and she won't complain Fluttershy! Yeah. Too many Fluttershy's to keep track of! Make it stop! Things getting too complicated for your simple little brain, Pinkie Pie. Now, stop right there! Let's not let things descend into petty insults. Why not? I thought petty was what you're all about, Rarity, with your petty concerns about fashion. <gasps> hey, leave her alone! Fashion is her passion! Oh, and what are you passionate about? Birthday cake? Party hats? I can't believe that the two most frivolous ponies in Ponyville are trying to tell New Fluttershy how to live her life when they are throwing their own lives away on pointless pursuits that no pony else gives a flying feather about! <laughs> Looks like Nasty Fluttershy is here to stay! Oh, I cannot believe what that monster Iron Will has done to you! <laughs> <laughs> Iron Will's not a monster! He's a Minotaur! I'm the monster. I become a monster. Oh, sweetie, you're not a monster. No, but he is. Iron Will's my name, training ponies is my game. What a darling little catchphrase. Your friend Fluttershy loved Iron Will's catchphrases. Word on the street is that she doesn't take no guff from no pony. So, Iron Will is here to collect Iron Will's fee. Fluttershy is in no shape to deal with that creep. Uh, I'm sure a big, brave, powerful, and rich monster, I mean, Minotaur, like you, doesn't need that money right away. You can afford to come back later. Are you kidding? Fluttershy is overdue as it is. Iron Will collects now. Do something! We're not even sure Fluttershy is home right now. Uh, she might be off frolicking with some woodland creatures. Uh, why don't you give us some time to track her down for you? Iron Will does have some grocery shopping to do. Iron Will will come back this afternoon. But that's only half a day. We need one full day at least. Iron Will will delay for half a day and no longer. A full day. Half day. Full day. Half day. Half day. Full day. We need half a day and no more. Well, you'll get a full day and no less. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow. Wait, what? Huh, sounds like the search won't be necessary. Iron Will collects now. But we have an agreement. You gotta come back tomorrow. When some pony tries to block, show them that you rock. <laughs> Your payment is overdue, Fluttershy. Nothing but a doormat. An iron will turn you into a lean, mean, assertive machine. Now, pay iron will what you owe iron will. Um, no. What did you say? No. Oh, I'd hate to be you right now. Because iron will is gonna rain down a world of hurt unless iron will gets his money. Pronto! 
I recall, during your workshop you promised 100% satisfaction guaranteed or you pay nothing. Well, I'm not satisfied. What do you mean you're not satisfied? Every pony has always been satisfied! Well, I guess I'm the first then. But since I'm not satisfied, I refuse to pay. It's as simple as that. <laughs> You sure you're not just a little bit satisfied? Uh, because maybe we could cut a deal. I mean, we're both reasonable creatures, aren't we? I'm sorry, but no means no. No means no, huh? Nobody's ever said that to me before. Huh. I gotta remember that one. That's a good catchphrase for my next workshop. <laughs> You didn't change at all. You were the same old Fluttershy that we've always loved. But one we missed! Don't worry, old Fluttershy's back for good. I'm sorry I took the whole assertiveness thing too far. Friends? Friends! <laughs> <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, sometimes it can be hard for a shy pony like me to stand up for myself. And when I first tried it, I didn't like the pony I became. But I've learned that standing up for yourself isn't the same as changing who you are. Now I know how to put my hook down without being unpleasant or mean. 